Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Mnix Place RimWorld uh, Alpha 13. We are starting right where we left off last episode, which was we started the Alpha Beaver apocalypse and decided and uh, committed Alpha Beaver genocide. And they came at us real hard in retaliation. Uh, Ali is injured. Wendy is okay. Um, Dirk was slightly injured. Mnix got a bite scar. Overall, I think we're pretty much good now. Um, there is a psychic drone affecting us all, so Jesse is in a terrible mood. But hopefully, we can get through. We can sort of get through the slog, and you know, fix fix all of our problems in the next couple, like in the next couple days or so. Maybe in this episode, uh, get ourselves set up. We still need to put a fridge over here so we can store our food because since it's not uh refrigerated our food starts expiring and stuff which is pretty bad um and then we can move the bench uh in the fridge as well uh, right now we're just cooking right here as a matter of fact maybe i can make one of these rooms the fridge and then some people can sleep in here and that way i can store all the food in there as well maybe i'll do that instead um yeah i'll, I'll consider that some of these rooms don't even have doors, I didn't even realize. So I feel like some people would be upset they don't have a enclosed room. Oops. Cancel. Wooden door. Uh, you need some lights in there. That's stupid. That's blocking it. Light right here. Okay. Now, Allie, she still needs treatment. Um, but for the most part, she's going to be all healed. Yep. Good, good, good. Let's uh, uninstall this. Let's set this as non-medical. And install this in here. So that's going to be like the medical room. Okay. Uh, Allie. Where's Allie? Allie. She is going to equip her survival rifle. And... Okay, we have enough food now. As a matter of fact... I, maybe I want to cook until I have 20 meals. That's quite a few meals. But that should help. Okay. Now over here, we can set up another room. So let's put a wooden bed here. Uh, put a wooden door. Oh, what did I set up to put a wall? Or originally, I wanted this to be a fridge, but I think I've changed my mind. I want the fridge to be here so that it has easy access to the crafting benches. So I will do that instead. Poor mood. Okay, Jesse is now in a poor mood, not a terrible mood, so that's good. Oh, if I, uh, yeah, maybe the living res, like the residence, will be over here instead. I might change it up. Okay. So let's actually dig in here some more, and then make another room. Five by no. Another room. 5x5, five five. another room, uh, like this, okay, 
So we're gonna move everybody and residences will be in the cave instead. And this will also give us a bit more defenses as well, I believe. Um, you know, our, our house won't burn down and stuff like that. And then we can make this part like the crafting area and a storage area and all that. Okay, I, li I like that idea. So in order to do that... Let's, uh... Let's put a wall here. Let's put a door here. Oh, there's a survival meal here. Why do I still have those? Okay, now how's everyone's moods? Ugly environment in a little pain. In a little pain. Lacks body parts, ugly environment. Urgently hungry. Holy crap. Well, you'll, you'll figure that part out. I'm sure you'll eat once you wake up. Oh, it's a raid. Okay, so there are some cargo pods. And they dropped human leather. Okay. Is that nearby? It's nearby-ish. And there is a raid. A group of pirates from the mosquitoes have arrived in drop pods. Are they going to attack immediately? They are. I do have some turrets available. How? What kind of weapons do they have? They have a pistol. Two pistols. Okay, let's see how they're going to attack us. All right, let's uh, let's rec let's uh, draft everybody. Let's put Ali over here. Jesse will be sort of behind this tree here. Oh wait, Jesse has no... no. Amnix will be behind this tree here. And Dirk will be like over here. Undraft. Okay, so I only, I, I only really have three fighters. Wendy's not much of a fighter. Or she's incapable of fighting. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Get them. Okay, let's undraft them. This guy is dead. Strip him. And then bury him. Alright. Let's uh, unrestrict that. Some more clothes. That's nice. Now this power switch is actually not doing anything. So we're constantly supplying power to the turrets. I actually don't mind that now that I think about it. But it would be nice if we could fill up our battery. Okay, Jesse is in a better mood now, so that's good. The psychic drone is ending. Oh, that's even better. Alright, it looks like we survived. Somehow. Um... I'm s Where should I keep the medical stuff? I could keep the fridge here. One, two, three, four rooms. Yeah, I think the rooms are going to be here, and then this part is just going to be pure storage. I think that's how I'm gonna do it. Okay. Once again, let, let me cut all these. Cut plants, harvest, chop wood. Why is there still wood in our house? I don't understand. There are still trees growing. Okay, we got some visitors. Farm Mountain, they have some items to trade. That is good. That's good. Okay, let's, let's add some doors. Okay, our colony is starting to look like a proper colony. We have two buildings now. Um, 
And now we're, we're more thinking of, you know, the luxuries, you know? And we're not just thinking about survival. We have enough food. We have some medicine. Now we're thinking about, like, how do we store all of our stuff? You know, stuff like that. Um, so that is good, good, good. We need to haul away a lot of this stuff. Let me figure out the home zone. Expand the home area. Okay, so this is a home area. Now, is anyone taking care of cleaning? Is anyone cleaning? Hmm. Wendy could be crafting and smithing, although I guess that's not very important right now. Oh, there are other priorities. Now, have you been getting trained? Not really. Okay, there's some human leather over there. Okay, who's the best in social? That's the the charity worker. Who was that? That was Derek, right? No, no, no. That was Jesse. Okay, so Jesse. Let's trade with these guys and see what we can trade with them. Okay, what do you have? They have medicine. They have components. Not very useful for us. Um, we can sell them a pistol. We can sell them. That's about it. So we're not too interested in trading them any of that. How come I can't trade my clothes away? I guess they're not interested in it. That sucks. Yeah, I can only trade with one of them. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Um, let's see, there's some slate here. There's some marble. I would like to get some more of this steel. I need to dig into here. To be honest, there isn't too many sources of steel in this map. Um, I mean, eventually we're going to dig out this whole area. And that kind of worries me. Like, what do you do when you have no steel, you know? Okay, Jesse's cleaning. That's good. Keep this place nice and clean. And we need to haul away all this stuff, too. All this. Allie is actually not hauling. Why? Allie. Clean. Haul should be her top priority. But she's researching instead. I suppose I don't mind. She has a passion for it. Um, storage. Human corpses. And... Chunks, stone chunks should be here. Okay. Visitors, more visitors. Wait, they're coming back. You just came here. It's a different group. Okay. My batteries, oh, they're okay. Okay, uh, Jesse. I'll wake you up in a bit. And we can trade with them. Trade. Alright, what you got? Ooh, you guys have a lot more stuff. Rocket launchers, assault rifle. Ooh. That'd be nice. It's very expensive. Um, medicine, components, lavish meals, and some survival meals. If I bought her assault rifle. No, that's just too expensive. I can't do it. I can't justify it. Um it's okay. We we don't need it urgently enough. Although it would be nice having a an uh an assault rifle. We could defend ourselves very nicely. But I'm sure another one will come by eventually. So I'm okay with this. Now, I'm going to delete this dumping pile right here, and I want one closer, so we don't have to walk so far. Maybe put it right over here, like this, there, and this will be for chunks and corpses, allow rotten, no weapons. Alright, 
So you can dump there instead. And by removing the rocks here, we can actually move through this area much faster. Um, which is nice. Okay, now let's uninstall a couple of these. Two of them, to be exact. Two beds, uninstall. And let's reinstall the beds. One in here. One in here. Get some power. Uh, power conduit. Oh, shoot. I can't get power over here. Because I can't get through the marsh. Oh, crap. How do I do this? <laughs> uh. Okay. Um. Excuse me? Oh, what do I do? The terrain here cannot support this. I can get the power in like this. Okay. Hold on. Just one second. Reinstall this. Reinstall this. We're not ready just yet. Not just yet. One colonist idle. We have some idle colonists, so we have stuff to do. Um, okay, if we are idle, let's get some more mining done. Like this. No. This. If I open this up, pirates can get in from there. But if I don't open it up, I don't open it up. I can't get power in here. I'm in a big a bit of a pickle here. Oh my goodness. Okay, if that's the case, let's extend. Oh, we can't even extend. Well, these fucking Hmm. Let's extend this. Like that. And then put a door here. Let's do it like that. Okay. And then we're going to extend our house like this. And then uh, this area is going to be storage. Okay, let, let's put some storage. We'll, we'll put some storage stuff in there. Um, and it's going to be for like... What is it going to be for? So food is going to be here. So that's where our fridge is, will be. Clothes and materials. Okay. I'm fine with that. So stockpile zone over here. As a matter of fact, stockpile zone will be this whole area. And we'll actually mine all of this. Okay. Okay, and then let's get some power in here. And put a lamp. Standing lamp right in the middle. Travelers are passing by. There are family members of your colonists or prisoners in the arriving group. Grenadier Andrea, she's the sister. Okay, so that's Andrea. Andrea is the sister of Wendy. Wait, Wendy? Where's Wendy? Social. Andrea Reeve. Yeah, that's sister. Okay, this is, this is really cool. The fact that there are these kinds of relationships. Dirk and Jesse still don't like each other. 
Wow. Okay. Flee, attack, or ignore. Right now, if anybody gets attacked, you should all run. Flee. 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 Okay, everyone's gonna run. Do you guys have anything to trade? You have nothing to trade. Uh, where's Wendy? Wendy. Can you talk to these guys? We cannot. Can we do anything with these factions? I guess not. Farmer's Mountain. A small community of survivors. These people have lived here for decades or centuries and have lost most of the technology that brought them to this world. They usually work with simple mechanical tools and defend themselves with advanced gunpowder weapons. They are concerned with the practical matters of trade, trust, and survival. There's the Black Crag people, the Poison Partners, and the Mosquitoes. Um... Okay, so there's the tribe and there's two pirate bands. Oh, all right. We've seen the two pirate bands. I don't think I've seen the tribe just yet. I don't think so, at least. We have struck compacted steel. That's nice. Amnix, why are you sleeping here? Is that owner? Amnix. Sleep over there, man. Yeah. Okay, it's a rainy thunderstorm. Okay. So now... Uh, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. What shall we do? We can set this area as a fridge. And then we could put two rooms over here. Let's put a wall here. Like this. And then deconstruct like this. Okay, so there's a thunderstorm, and when there's thunderstorms, there's typically fire. We have to watch out for that. I like how Jesse is up already. Now, is our research almost done? 160 out of 500. Not exactly. That's limestone. A raid! Okay, tribes people. From the Black Crag, people have arrived nearby. They will prepare for a while and then attack. Prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. They have a Pila and a Shortbow. So these are the tribes. They don't actually have guns. Um, we should be fine, right? I think we'll be fine. It'll give me a warning once they come attacking. Mad animal. The local muffalo has gone mad. I hope it attacks the pirates. No. All right. Well, here, here, here they come. I'm assuming that they can't get past the turrets. That's my assumption. Can they? Yeah, they cannot. Okay. So let's uh, strip this guy. And all right, we're good. Two turrets seems like a pretty good number for the current for current defenses, at least. Um, stockpile. Let's increase the stockpile zone over here, and then this stockpile is going to store no food. It's going to store the manufactured and raw resources. No corpses either. Body parts, apparel, weapons, and items. Um, and we're going to set it as important priority. 
And then... Hmm. This area still cannot get any power. Oh, that's a problem, man. How do I get power? Can I... Can I put power along the walls? Power conduit. Does this work? Like this? Like that? Like that, maybe? I hope that works. Ah, I think it's working. Right? Is it working? Can't get power in the walls? Space is occupied. Okay. Um, let's mine up this part. Colonist needs treatment? What's wrong? The colonists need medical treatment. What? Oh, asthma. Right. Um, I'll set a medical bed right here. We're gonna run low on medicine at this point. Uh, corn. The heel root is still growing. Okay, so now we can mine this as well. Okay, and then we can build some walls. Like this. And then we can build some power conduits in here like this. Alright. All right, all right, all right. This is this is finally working. Our food is still spoiling. We need a fridge ASAP. Um, I don't know. Let's let's make this a fridge. Um. Copy settings, paste settings, delete, power, production, furniture, where is it? Temperature, okay. We need a cooler. We need a cooler to cool this place down right here. Like that. We are low on food? No way. No, we're not. It's because I picked it up. I like how Jesse's sleeping and everyone's just working in here. I don't understand how she sleeps so late. Or so early? I don't know. Okay, and then So what am I what am I gonna use this area for? I guess just storage? We have power here now. And I'm gonna move her bed over here. I think that's what I'll do. Okay, okay. This is gonna work. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna reinstall it. Over here. This is a really big room. I need to think of how to make it smaller, actually. Um, maybe cut it in half? Then it's a two then the room's too small. How do we do this? Uh Huh. Huh. How do we do this? 
Um, I need like a hallway. Let me th let me think. This is what happens when you add like little rooms a bit at like a few rooms at a time and expand your house like that. No, I'm getting confused. How should we design this? Okay, let's 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 do this for now. We can figure it out later. This is just going to be an empty room. Poor mood. Who's in a poor mood? Jessie. Okay, of course she's in a poor mood. Everyone keeps like walking into her room while she's sleeping. Is anyone surprised? Okay, let's uninstall this one. Alright, so the bed is now moved. We want to keep the temperature at a... Uh, target temperature... is zero degrees. How's power? Okay, so the power is reaching. And I want to reinstall this. Let's just uninstall it for now. I don't know where to put it. Okay. Now we do have some cotton, so we can actually consider making some clothes for the winter. Four colonists are idle. A trading caravan from Baker's Town um, is approaching. You can attack them, but this will anger them. I will probably not attack them. I don't mind trading with them, though. Um, let me see. So, now that we have power in here, we can consider doing some tailoring. Still, steel tailor's bench can work without electricity at forty percent of normal speed. Well, we do need electricity, but um, we can get some power. Power conduit, like this, like that. One colonist is idle. Dirk has nothing to do. Uh, what is there to do? Well, if you have nothing to do, can you clean, maybe? You can clean. I mean, if you have nothing to do, you can research. There. Uh, somebody is researching. You can cook. You can butcher. We have enough food, it seems. Uh, you can mine. That's what you can do. Let's mine for some more stuff. Uh, let's see. This. And like this. Let's make another room. And we gotta figure out this, this situation right here. Uh, structure. Let's put a wall here. Okay. And then we gotta we gotta harvest some of these trees actually. So let's cut wood. Let's chop some wood. And chop the wood in here too. Trader from Bakerstown, where is he? Okay, so they're coming in. Where is Jesse? Jesse's sleeping. In the middle of the day. I don't understand. What's her sleep schedule like? It's the same as everyone else. Why does she sleep so early? Oh, Jesse. Jesse, wake the fuck up. Trade with them. I need you to do stuff. God damn it, just sleeping all day. Whoa, there's a lot to trade. <laughs> okay, well. The Synth Thread Pants are pretty bad, so I'm going to sell it. These are all bad quality, um, so we're going to sell all, all of those things. The button-down shirt is okay, so I'll keep it. 
We have some components. We have our doggy. They have some monkeys that we can buy. That's kind of cool. A snowware. Oh, we should actually consider taming some animals. That's something we could do. We have a toque. Is there anything we can buy from them, maybe? Nothing I want. Just stuff to sell, really. That's okay. I'll sell some stuff and, uh... I guess he's in a poor mood. Okay, whatever. Oh, uh, look at that. They have a little... Uh, they have a couple of monkeys. That's so cute. Okay. Who is my animal person? My animal person is Wendy. So, Wendy... Let's consider... Taming these guys. Let's consider taming a couple of muffalos. And then if uh, we can have we can build like a farm for them or something. I think that would be nice. And then we can actually make oh, not here. We can make kibbles, right? Make animal kibble by combining raw meat and plants. I guess it's more nutritious. So let's uh let's make like do until you have five kibbles. And over here it's do until you have 20 fine meals, which is very nice. Can I make lavish meals at this point? No, you need cooking ten. Okay. Nobody has a cooking of 10. What about Dirk? This cooking is at 9. It's getting there. Okay. Why does Jesse sleep so early? I don't understand. Too smart character. I don't... I don't know. Whatever. Okay, we have food, we have kibbles. How's the work training? So it has been trained in obedience. That's nice. Apparently I can attack these guys, but then they'll hate me. I need traders. So colonist needs treatment. Ali has gotten sick from gut worms. The infection is in her stomach. Uh, okay. Gut worms untreated. Well, somebody needs to treat her. Do we have a Do we have a doctor? I guess we don't have a doctor that's awake. Man, hunger rate times two. Okay, well at least Ali is happy. So there's that. Somebody treat this girl. Okay, I'm going to treat her. Okay. Okay, Wendy's treating her. Low food. You only have 20, 19 full bars worth of food in storage. This is dangerously low. Really? Okay. Uh, I guess we need more. Maybe 30? Grow, buy, find, or kill some food. Apparently 17 food is not enough. Our doggy is eating his kibbles. Okay, so at least Derek has something to do now. What's Wendy doing? Where is Wendy? Is she taming? She is. I wonder if it's working. There, are, I, I, there aren't that many animals out on the map. There's only the muffalo, and they've been here for a long time. What's this? A hare? Oh, there's some elk that we can actually hunt, and we should actually consider doing that. Wild boar. Okay. Uh. 
How's the temperature in here? It's a little cold. So we'll actually put a heater in here. Let's put a heater. Um, I guess out in the open somewhere. Like here. And then we'll keep some vents. Uh, like... So one vent over here. One vent over here. Um, here. No. Here. Here and here. There. All right. So that will keep the house nice and warm, which is pretty important, I think. At the same time, it's using more and more electricity, so we got to consider that. Our battery levels are pretty good for the most part. But with the heater, it's probably going to take up a lot of energy. Alright, so each room does have a vent, and hopefully everyone will be warm at this point. Let's keep the temperature at like uh, 17, 18, 18 degrees. It's still a little cold out, out, out over here. Hmm. I feel like the thermodynamics in this house is not very well done. Starvation? Oh, because she's sick. Don't worry, she'll eat when she wakes up. Uh, How should I do this? I could make a hallway out here. Cargo pods. What is this? Uranium. Whoa. Let's get some of that. Is there anything else out on the map? I don't see anything. Okay. What's this? Oh, just some blood marks. How long have we been recording for? 40 minutes. Wow, we've been recording for a long time. Time has been passing quick, man. Let's try to tame the hair as well. Tame. Is it working? 13% chance. Tame it. Failed. I mean, it's like 1 out of 10, right? It shouldn't be that bad. 1 out of 9. Tamed! Okay, we have a, we have a buffalo or we have a muffalo pet. And they'll grow wool for us. That's nice. We have two muffalos. Nice. Muffalo one, muffalo two. Oh, and they're mating right now. Nice. Sweet. Okay. Once you're done mating, I'm going to keep you in animal area two. And Animal Area 2 shall be... All of you will be in Animal Area 2, actually. And Animal Area 2 is... Basically this entire area. This entire area. Including this over here. There. So you guys are free to roam. However you like. Low food. How is it still low food? Derek is wandering idly. That means I made more food, right? Oh, it means I... I'm low on meats. Oh, shit. Okay, we are actually low on food. Um, Where were those deer? Here are the elks. Where's Allie? Okay, Allie is hunting. So she was hunting. 
so we can butcher some more meat. That would be good. Because we have a lot of corn. We don't have enough meat. We have a lot of veggies. And we need the we need the meat to make uh, to make meals. A chunk of space crap has fallen from space and landed nearby. Interesting. I don't know where. Uh, the spacecraft only gives components, so it's not all that interesting. Uh, we should de deconstruct this one, though. Get some more components. Your gunshots. I think that's a deer. Yeah. And if we have to, we can slaughter our muffalo. Dirk has named Muffalo One Carnation after being nuzzled. Okay. All right, I guess that one is uh, that one's your pet now. So you gotta train it in obedience. And I think that's it. I don't think we want to train it to attack people. Trader from Bakerstown. Okay, is there power here now? There is. Um, we need to add a bill. We need to get re ready for the winter. So let's make a couple parkas. Let's make five of them. Um, we have wool, so that should be fine. Okay. There is power, right? There is power? Oh, this part isn't connected. So we need to, once we get power there, we will be able to craft more efficiently the tailoring bench. Okay, that's good now. So it is now fall. Um, ooh, our heal root has 100% grown, so we can make medicine with that. Production. Um... Field stove, electric stove, sculptor's table. Tailoring. Hand tailoring. Which one did I make? Electric tailoring bench. Okay. Okay, so we have a tailoring bench, so we can use that to make clothes, which we should. Okay, there are some traders. Jesse is awake. Let's talk to them and trade real quick. What you got for me? Or what do I have for you? I have a Pila. I'll sell that to you. I have a Plasteel knife? Whoa. Well, I don't need it. Do I? Um, It's pretty expensive. I can sell it. Maybe I'll keep it. I would like to get some more medicine. Maybe five more medicine. Armor vests. Some more weapons. An awful SMG. I'll keep the rest. Okay. Uh. Okay, our, our town is starting to really look like uh or our colony is starting to look like a real colony. We are, we have some stockpiles. We have some food saved up. Um, you know, we, we have some pets. Look at that. We have some muffalo, like this one and this one. We have a little doggy. Uh, thing, things are going well. And hopefully things will continue to stay this way. But I know that this game, it can, things can get, get out of control very quickly. Um, but it's it's been around 50 minutes. So I'm going to pause it right here. I'm going to save the game at Dankany, and uh it's it's been around 50 minutes so thank you guys very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did as always you can leave a like on my video and leave, subscribe to my channel you can follow me on twitter at twitter.com slash mnextplace for any vid updates on new videos and live streams otherwise uh keep in touch guys and i'll see you guys next time bye bye